Hi everyone, welcome back to our episode 5, the final episode of this DIY laser welder. Today, we will demonstrate the function of this laser welding machine, including the laser welding function, of course, the laser cleaning, and the laser cutting. Skyfire Laser, we have all you need on fiber laser. This is our negative clamp. Cut a ground wire, connect it to these to number 5, port, take out the other end, connect it to the negative clamp, tighten it, then the negative clamp is now ready, we put it here. Then we turn on the power of our equipment. This is our main power switch. Turn it on. Here is switch. The screen will light up. Here are two buttons. This is laser. Make sure the temperature is around the 25 centigrade. Only then can it be used normally. Take out the accessory. It contains a measuring tube. Remove the plug. Generally, we align the zero scale with this level. And take out a small nozzle, AS12 for welding. Thin plate. This copper nozzle is suitable for single uh, wire fitting or thin plate for welding. Open the gas before studying. The gas must be open before welding. Generally, we use this kind of oxygen pressure gouge. Then pressure should be greater than two bar. If the using a flow meter, it should be greater than fifteen bar. Now we can start our light test. But there's a alarm on this screen. It is correspond to our water tank. But actually, there's no alarm for our water tank. We adjust it. Then it's gone. Clamped it on our welding platform. Here you can see the red dot. It is a short straight line. The red dot should be within the outer red circle. It must be fully displayed to proceed the welding. Because the clamp and the gun, if there is a collection, the light will be on. If we pull, yes. If we pull apart, it will work. This is a 1mm stainless steel, we did not use wire feeding, just like this directly, and check the progress processing. Here we scan the scan speed and the scan width and the set it smaller at first. The word power will be also smaller. Now wire feeding. This is one millimeter carbon steel plate. Take our wire feeding tube. Set it aside. We open it by spraying it. For wiring, a uh, one millimeter thin plate. We loosen it. This. For one millimeter thin plate, we prepare stainless steel while feeding wire with diameter 1.2 millimeter. Cut it off. There is something here we put in before studying. We need to choose the right wire feeding wheel. It says 1.2 for group width. Put it in. 
this one also 1.2. Then thread the wire through here. Ensure the wire is stuck in the groove. Then thread it through here. Through it all the way out. And clamp and press it. Then there is manual wire fitting here. First, test our wire feeder. This way, the wire will be fit out. Then take out the wire feeding tube, pull the end of the wire we just put in. Then plug this in. You can see here, just to here. Do not push it all the way forward. Leave a little distance. There is source here, tighten it. This way our tube is fixed and won't come out and then close it. We should straighten this wire as much as possible. Release it on the ground and keep pressing our wire feeder. Then wait for the wire to come out. After this wire is fed out, Take out other wire fitting tube accessory, open it, take out the wire fitting tube and uh, we thread it in. There is a wire fitting bracket here. Then adjust it to approximately suitable position and uh, rest here for the best. Thread it through and uh, adjust it to a suitable position. Tighten it. And we use 1.2 in diameter feeding wire. Then we take out a small nozzle. Each nozzle is labeled with the number. 1.6 and 0.8 1.2 1.0 According to our selected fitting wire with diameter of 1.2 we selected a nozzle with corresponding size Put it on here Now we see this wire cannot be fixed in this nozzle. If it is not fixed, then we adjust it again. And we retract it a little bit. Ensure the wire is fully fixed here. This is roughly the right position. And then our fitting tube is installed. We cut off the excessive wire. We start uh, welding. Ensure, we must ensure the red dot always covers the wire. The red dot is in the middle of the welding wire. It may also shift like this. It just if we adjust the red dot shifts. In this case, if not in the middle, it will burn our nozzle. The welding wire is in the center. After welding wire is added, you will see it is brighter than before. The weld seam is brighter. Test the strength. The material will bend, but the weld part will not fall off. This is stainless steel. 
look at the welding effect of adding feeding wire. This is even brighter. Now next demonstrate the 3-in-1, the, the cleaning function of this 3-in-1 wedding gun. First remove our wire feeding tube, take off the measuring tube. On the monitor, it will show entering the cleaning system. Switch, entering the cleaning surface, save it and then cut off the power. Now we enter the cleaning mode. We take a metal piece with the rust on it. When the red dot is the thinnest, that is when the light is the strongest. If you take a flower, it becomes weaker. That's great, that's nice. Great. Next, we demonstrated the cutting function. Put our measuring tube back on. Remove this hook nozzle and replace it with a cutting nozzle. And set the scan width to zero. And set the power to full 1500 watt. Now we see the red dot. It used to be a line, now it becomes a point. These points must come out completely from the center of the nozzle. Now we can cut. Regarding the use of uh, nozzles, there are very clear marking on it. Also, scan the QR code in the back of the box, there will be detailed explanation. Thank you for following along with us this DIY laser welding machine series. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe, like and stay tuned for more innovative projects. See you next time. Bye bye.